I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question from previous test paper. It is based on measurements. We have five questions related to the same diagram. The question number one here is, find the perimeter of the given track if the length and width of the rectangular part is 150 meters and 60 meters respectively. So when I say rectangular part, I mean this portion, right? So that is the rectangular part. We are given that its length is, this length L is 150 meters. And the width is 60 meters. We need to find the perimeter. Now in this case, we'll always assume that we have two semicircles at the ends, right? So that is the rectangle, right? And we have these two as the circles. So these are semicircles. Since the width is 60, the radius is going to be half of 60, which is 30 meters, right? So, so we have two half circles which means one full circle as the perimeter right now what is the perimeter for the given figure well the perimeter here is some of these two lengths let's say two times length plus two pi r right two pi r so that is the perimeter of the circle right and that is two lengths these two lengths. We are always, uh, when we see perimeter, we are actually measuring the periphery total length. So the two ends will be considered as a circle, semicircles, and they will combine to make one full circle whose perimeter will be 2 pi r. Right? So the total perimeter of this track is 2 times length, length is 150 plus 2 times pi times radius will be half the width, right, which is 30. So we have 300 plus 60 pi, right, as the perimeter for the given track. Now to get the exact value, we can actually use calculator. So 60 times 3.14 can be used as a pi value. So decimal value is 188.4. So we get 300 plus 188.4. Now if calculator is not allowed, you can estimate with uh, pi equals to 3.14 or you can say slightly more than 3, right? So you get 488.4. The units are meters. We need to find the perimeter of the given track if the length so we can round it to a whole number and say approximately 488 meters. We round it to whole number because all these dimensions given were rounded to whole numbers. Does it make sense? So that is how you could actually solve this question. Also remember for a circle circumference is equals to pi times diameter or 2 times pi times r. We could have used 60 times pi also, which is the same thing, right? 60 times pi. So I hope the concept is clear. Now let us take uh, practice questions based on this concept. Question number two for you is, length of the rectangular track is 50 meters less than three times its width. Find the perimeter of the given track if the width of the rectangular part is 100 meters. So this time we are given 100 meters as the width. And we are also given a condition. We will write width equals to 100 meters. Length is 
50 meters less than 3 times the width. So 3 times width minus 50, which is 3 times 100 minus 50, right? So that means 300 minus 50 is 250. So this time we are given 250 meters as the length of this rectangular field, right? Now we need to find perimeter. So let's again use similar calculation. So perimeter is 2 times the length. Let's write right there. 2 times the length plus we can say pi times diameter d, right? Where diameter d is equal to 100. So instead of using 2R, we are using diameter this time. So we get 2 times length is 250 plus 3.14 times 100. Correct? Now these are easier values to calculate. 500 plus 314. Right? So we get 814 meters as the perimeter in this particular case. So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? So sometimes if you have a question where calculator is not allowed, such numbers will be there. It will be easier for you to do without calculator, just as we did just now. I hope that makes sense, right? Let's move on and take the next question. Question number three is, find the length of the rectangular part round to the whole number if the perimeter of the given track is 540 and the width is 120. So now we are given perimeter as 540 meters. We are also given width as 120 meters and that is also the diameter, right? So width is equal to diameter of circle, so which is 120 meters, right? Okay, so we know that perimeter is equals to twice length plus pi times diameter d, right? In this case, 540 is the perimeter. We need to find length and we have pi as 3.14 times the diameter, which is 120, right? So we can rearrange, write it as 540 minus 3.14 times 120 equals to twice length or 540 minus 3.14 times 120 divided by 2 equals to length. So that is how we can find the length in this condition when perimeter is given to us. Okay, so let's calculate 540 minus 120 times 3.14 and then we are dividing this by 2 to get the decimal value. We get 81.6. So we get 81.6 as the length. Now we have to round this to a whole number. So that gives you length equals to 82 meters. Is that clear to you? So you'll have to round higher since it is 0 0.6 and you get 82 meters, that is the whole number in meters as your answer. So this time we calculated the length when perimeter was given to us. The next question, two more questions to go. And in these questions, we will be working with area and the length. Question number four is, Find the length of the rectangular part round to 100th place, right? Kind of important to understand. If the area of the given track is 1.5 kilometer square and the width is 0.5 kilometers. So width is given to us as 0.5 kilometers. So the units have changed, okay? And we are given area, area of the given track, the whole area is 1.5 kilometer square, right, is 1.5 kilometer square, width is equal to 0 0.5 kilometers, okay. Now, uh, what you should know is that area of circle is how much? So, area of circle is pi r square and in our case, R is, in this case, 
half of 0 0.5 in kilometers is it okay which is 0 0.25 kilometers correct so that is the radius so the radius from here will be 0 0.25 kilometers now what is the formula for area well area will be area of one circle right so area of a circle plus area of the rectangle correct that is what the area is so in our case area is given to us as 1.5 kilometer square for the circle it is pi times radius square which is 0 0.25 square let me write down here pi r square plus length times width right so plus length we want to figure out and width is 0 0.5 right so that is how we can find the length so let's do our calculations we get 1.5 minus pi times 0 0.25 square equals to 0 0.5 l right so that gives you 1.5 minus pi times 0 0.25 square divided by 0 0.5 equals to length L okay so let's calculate the answer using the calculator we get 1.5 minus 3.14 within brackets 0.25 square so first let's calculate this and then we are going to divide by 0.5 which is multiplying by 2 and in decimals we get 2.60 so we get 2.60 equals to length L. It is actually 6075. So we need to round to the hundredth place, right? So this is tenth and hundredth place will be 2.61. So we get our answer as length L equals to 2.61 kilometers. Is that clear to you, right? So we have to round to the hundredth place perfect so that is interesting let's take one more based on area similar concept now this is your test question right so i like you to pause the video copy the question answer and then look into my suggestions find the length of rectangular part so we have to find this length round to the tenth of kilometer if area of the given track is 1 kilometer square and the width is 200 meters so this time we are given 200 meters as the width okay so we are given area as equal to 1 kilometer square width is equal to 200 meters you could write this as 0 0.2 meters correct since we know one kilometer is 1000 meters so that is important to remember so convert this to uh, same units 200 meters is 0.2 kilometers correct okay we are given the area and the width we have to find the length so we know that area in this case will be pi r square plus length into width area is 1 pi times radius is 0 0.2 whole square plus length times width of uh, width of 0 0.2 radius will be half 0 0.2 divided by 2 0 0.1 right so so let me write down here radius will be width divided by 2 or 0 0.2 divided by 2 which is 0 0.1 kilometers is that clear so that is what it is so so the length uh, sorry area is 1 kilometer so 1 equals to so this portion is 0 0.1 right when you divide by this so you get 3.14 times 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.2 L clear so that is how you'll get it now what is 0 0.1 squared it is 0 0.01 right 0 0.01 okay so um, now let's bring them together you can write 1 equals to 
0 0.01 right so it'd be adding two decimal places plus 0 0.2 l right so what we get here is 1 minus 0 0.0314 we have divided by 0 0.2 to get the value of length is that clear to you right so from here you can find that 0 0.2 l is basically equal to 1 minus 0 0.0314 right and then you divide by 0 0.2 to get the value of l okay so so what do we get so what we get here is let's do this calculation and check our result 3.14 times 0.1 square is equal to in decimals 0 0.0314 do you see that so one decimal place becomes two decimal places when you square it and that's what you get right now let's do our calculation 1 minus 0 0.0314 equals to divide by 0.2 is equal to the length in decimals 4.843 right so we get L equals to 4.843. Round to tenth of a kilometer. So we have to round to this place. So we get this as length equals to 4.8 kilometers. So that is the answer for the last question. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. In this video, we learn how to work with the track type of questions where we have a rectangle in between and two semicircles on the sides. We found the length for given perimeter, for given area and for given other conditions. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.